Hello, thank you for joining with me for the meditation of Lesson 168. Go ahead and sit with your eyes closed. Inhale for a count of two and exhale for a count of four and repeat that three times. Inhale for a count of three through the nose and exhale for a count of six through the mouth again three times. And now let's do the four X breath in through the nose for a count of four. Hold it at the top briefly and then exhale through the mouth for a count of eight. Feel the oxygen come in through the base of your spine and pull up through your spine and out the center of your head. Your grace is given me. I claim it now. God speaks to us. If you but knew the meaning of his love, hope and despair would be impossible. Today we ask of God the gift he has most carefully preserved within our hearts, waiting to be acknowledged. God loves his son. Request him now to give the means by which this world will disappear and vision first will come with knowledge but an instant later. It is a new and holy day today for we receive what has been given us. And as he descends to meet us, we come to him. Your grace is given me. I claim it now, Father. I come to you, and you will come to me who ask. I am the son you love. Your grace is given me. I claim it now.
your grace has given me, I claim it now. This lesson and the one to follow discuss grace differently from other discussions in A Course in Miracles. In the first chapter of the text, for example, Jesus talks about spirit as being in a state of grace, the equivalent of the love of God. Here, and more so in the next lesson, he talks about grace as an aspect of this love within the illusion. It is not heaven, but the closest we can come to it on earth. We therefore see another example of the Course's inconsistent use of words. The form, though the teaching, the content remains the same. So the form, the teaching, may be different and inconsistent, but the content remains the same. Your grace is given me, I claim it now, Father. I come to you, and you will come to me who ask. I am the Son you love. God does not come to us until we first come to Him. It is not that He establishes conditions or makes demands, but that since we left, we need to return. Thus we come to experience the love that has lovingly awaited us. And so it is. Cherish this instant. All of time is set within its boundaries. Thank you for joining with me today. Have a beautiful day and I will see you tomorrow.